Hey guys, so I noticed a leak in my uh, irrigation system uh, right here where there was a previous splice. Um, there was a, um, a uh, barbed uh, connection with these clamps here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this all out. Um, I went to Home Depot and got um, about a foot and a half piece of, of pipe. Um, and I got these push connectors here. Um, you know, it was actually cheaper than buying um, an additional two more of those uh, barbed connections and uh, I picked up uh, a uh, plastic pipe cutter as well make the job much easier so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut back the pipe here um, I need to use two fittings because um, there wasn't enough pipe to make the connection in one connection um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that the um, pipe here is clean um, it's old, there's a little bit of, you know, scratches and ridges in it. Uh, you know, a little concern it might cause some leaking, um, but it wound up uh, holding pretty well, as you'll see. Um, so, just go ahead here, make sure that it's nice and clean, and we're just gonna, you know, push these push to connect fittings right in, you know, straight. Um, you know, you don't wanna come in at any angle this is just like any other push to connect whether you've used shark bites before or something similar um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put in the um, the other piece of pipe that I purchased um, and now I'm just sizing up where to to make the cut the uh, the pipe fits pretty much halfway into the coupling uh, so I just eyeballed it here and I'm just gonna trim it back um, so it lines up halfway with the with the coupling here and then it's just a matter of slipping it in and then pushing it tight these types of uh, push to connect fittings will work with any um, HD PE pipe um, pretty much your standard black pipe and now we just need to test so I'm gonna launch my uh, Orbit's Beehive app here and uh, turn on my sprinkler um, and then just wait for it to uh, fill with water and then see if we have any leaks. Now since I had that uh, opening there there's a lot of air in the line so uh, you know you can expect your sprinkler head to do some spitting um, but yeah as you can see here there's no leaks whatsoever um, you know, did a pretty good job. So now it's just a, you know, matter of letting some of the air run out, um, and then just dig the trough, you know, a little deeper. Uh, one of the reasons why I think the connection was splitting in the first place is because it had surfaced a little bit. Um, so dig the trough a little deeper, fill it in, and then pack it, and there you have it.